Today, I just hear the radio, and I hear a woman speak about racist, and she comparing it to a movie. And in the movie, they say that to be racist was a sickness. Yes, I know. I have just make some speech. Well, say yeah, you can call me a little racist, and then I explain an episode with a gun in my head with fifteen people, and I was only a child in my teenage year. Let's go back to the woman. She say that to be racist is a sickness, but that's just funny because the word racist could really not exist. If racist was not existing. So racist is a reality. It exists. They put name on different kind of human races around the world. So it's a real reality. Now a woman have a speech time in the radio, saying that to be a racist is a sickness. But in our time today, it's very difficult to define what it means to be a racist. Because in my world, it is to fight a war against other racist people. Not to behave. Not to be very nice, not to have next love for the race. That's what I define a racist person. But today they have gone the step further than that. A racist today is what I've just said, making war. But it's more than that. Uh, today, they will call you a racist if you does not lying and fucking around with people that have another color than you. Maybe you are white and they are brown, black or yellow. If you does not lying and fuck around with that kind, you are racist. If you does not want to have children with that kind, you're racist. If you does not have friends like that, you're racist. If you does not interact and hire those people on your workplace, you're racist. If you does not take their culture as your own, you're racist. If you does not convert into their culture, you're racist. If you does not go into their church, you're racist. If you does not walk and speak and wearing their clothes, you're racist. But you're definitely a racist. If you does not hook up with one, then you are sick. You are sick because you don't want to deny reality. That in reality, that there are races, we are different. Now you are f fearing 
for something new. Because it's not because that you just want to live a peaceful life, no stress, have some in common, have the same value, have something to share with somebody you're going to spend a fucking whole life with. If you does not want to have a new culture into your life, you're racist. It's not because of something else. No, no. It's not because of the value from where you are born. It's not because of the values that you are proud of. It's not because of the value that you have shared with your parents and you want to share with your children. That you want to see your children grow up and be proud and can look in their eyes and say, whoa, he looks like me. Then you're a racist. Now that the media, the journalist, cannot really speak freely and write freely anymore because it has been bought up and there's only one owner on all of it just for sitting and messing around with our mind so their problems of their wars in another countries than ours That they put their war into our country and now we have a culture war in our society. The politics problem have become a personal problem for you and me. They have been erased in this beautiful country that is not beautiful anymore. Saying that we are racist just for seeing the different on the people in our society. Because it's very easy to define the threat, the enemy, those who want to mess up with our values because of a color on our skin. It's easy. It's easy to see the different and it's very easy to become racist if somebody is violating our privacy and invading our love life to demanding to hook up and split up with something else than what we are. I think it's sick to deny reality and say it's a sickness. It's a sickness if you point fingers and you're shouting and say they shall fuck home. But if they say something to you before, then it's word against word and then you cannot really call it racist. Because today, if you have a color on your skin in this country, you are allowed to say bad words to other people. When they say something back, you're racist. <laughs> now you can be judged after a love, and it's not just word against word. That's how the politics have a big failure of ruining our country for making war overseas. For not understand the limit and understand that we are different. 
for not wanting to accepting that reality that we are different and we have different cultures. We are different races. For saying this, it's not making me sick, but just understand reality. And why is that? Because reality is everywhere. We are surrounded by reality. From the grass we walk on, to the bird on the sky over us. To the horse that's standing next to us, ah, maybe not. Because a horse can interact just like humans with other races. Like the dog and the cat. But it's not because a dog and a cat really can interact with each other. And now you can say that there's different races. And you are surrounded by the order from that. Only some can interact with each other, like an Akide. An Akide don't have a mind, so it's very natural to take it and interact with it, to make new seeds and new beautiful flowers. But seeing man as that, that's fucking sick, to interact in an intellect, other human beings love life, claiming that we are racist because we don't want to hook up with other culture, other nationality, other race, then we are sick because we don't want to allow strangers to sitting with our lives, our lives in our country, built by our ancestors, invaded by new assholes who have another culture, they're saying that they can allow to sit with our lives like this. Who give that woman permission to speak in that fucking radio? I shall not speak good for racist people. I will not even speak against because I understand that our society have a failure and it's a very easy way to see the enemy. It becomes an enemy if they are violating our private room. When our own people have become a part of an organization that's fighting our own ass. Just for discovering how corrupt they have become because of their own failure by their own shit politic from another country overseas. They have nothing to do with our culture and our country and our North. But have claimed a war against the North. Because their country have become a multicultural society. And now they want to spread it all, all over the world. Because they become blind for reality and say everything else is a sickness that they have spring from in the early mornings.